teaching physics, you're spreading curiosity, you're spreading the idea of lifelong learning. That's what drew me to physics teaching. I wanted to share my passion for physics with other people. As a physics teacher, you get to be creative and you get to do exciting things that are fun. It makes you feel really good to say that what I've done makes a difference. I love coming in and seeing my students and opening doors to new concepts for them because their eyes light up and they ask these incredible questions. They provide the fuel to keep going. As a teacher, you are a role model, and especially as a female, as a physicist, as a Latina. Students look to me and they see a picture of themselves, what they could be in the future. You're the expert. Everybody comes to you with their questions. You've got to find creative ways to explain things to students that they understand it conceptually. Teaching is a really unique job. You get to work with people and a lot of people. I'm not sitting at my desk, I'm on my feet all day. I'm moving around, asking questions. They ask tough questions and I have to think on my feet and I like that excitement of the job. Teaching is the number one communication job that there is out there. Being a teacher really prepares you for any other work that you're interested in doing. You learn to collaborate with others really well. You have to be comfortable interacting with every single student, whatever their need is, and work with them. Last year when I first started teaching, I had you know, 28 eyes looking at me, and there it was. I could either find my confidence or not. On the first day of school this year, it was just a totally different story. I walked in, I knew exactly what I was doing, and they seemed to be pretty hooked from day one. Another skill that teaching provides for you is leadership. You practice telling others what to do and how to do it as a teacher, and that really prepares you for any job. Physics is one of the most fun subjects you could ever teach or learn. When the students can put their hands on something to find why one car is going a certain speed after it hits another, they're seeing it happen right in front of them. I get to play with all the fun toys and all the other teachers are always jealous when I come back from Home Depot with the whole pile of stuff that I'm bringing to my classroom. They're like, what's going on there? We're working on a friction lab and in the middle of the lab, the student stands up and she goes, oh my gosh, we are discovering this like scientists. It's, it's like we're like scientists. There was a student that just came up to me this year after taking my physics class. She came to me and said, Ms. Becher, I've changed my major. I want to be an engineering major because I really enjoyed your class and I enjoyed physics. Girls in my class love science. <laughs> and they excel. They're like way into it. It's kind of weird. You notice a transition towards the end of eighth grade where girls kind of start to sit back and not be as excited. And so you kind of have to push them and say, wait a minute, what did you find out? Wasn't that cool? That's part of why I became a teacher was to try and convince girls and minorities that it is cool to understand science. It's cool to pursue science as a career. I chose this school because of the diversity, the 85 plus countries represented at this school, the wide variety of experiences that each student individually brings to the table, and a lot of those backgrounds are pretty high needs. A lot of my students don't have support outside of school, and that's a role that I can play in school. I've had a kid that's living on their own, no parents at home, and just doesn't have that kind of positive home experience because there's nobody there to welcome them home. If they can come in and get a smile out of my class and learn something, then at least I've given them a positive throughout that day. High need students have zero access to physics otherwise. Physics just seems to be some inaccessible type of science, but it's really not. If you help high needs kids see the opportunities, there's so many different fields that rely on physics. If you're creative and dedicated and passionate about kids and science, these kids need you. To work with the kids and to help them grow and to see them grow is just something rewarding that I don't think you can get from other professions. It's really important, especially for people who have studied physics and have a higher understanding of math and science, to teach. Teaching is a great option if you are excited about helping people to succeed in their lives. If you're interested in that, this is 
the place to be. What do you think, Selena? They are? Wow! Yeah, I think the small one goes faster!